four lobbying facts at Premier Notley. I think that the best way to deal with that is through intelligent, thoughtful, respectful dialogue and debate. It's more important to put the facts in front of the anger. Premier Rachel Notley said that. The facts are disturbing, Premier Notley. And most disturbing, you're not listening. Despite your pretty climate plan TV ads, they're misleading the public. Images of wind turbines and solar panels promise a future power grid that cannot support the basic needs of society because the energy return on energy invested is as small, it's too small. In a recent peer-reviewed study by Cambridge engineering professor Michael J. Kelly, he points out that efforts to mitigate global warming with wind and solar are making everything worse and destroying national economies. Furthermore, renewables like wind and solar can never replace coal-fired generation. They're both intermittent sources and the most expensive forms of power generation for the least return. In Alberta, the power grid is on park until Mr. Boston completes his compensation plan for the coal industry. That means investors aren't willing to risk a penny on new gas plants, hydro or geothermal until they know whether or not Alberta is a fair dealer. Unless, of course, you're planning on offering large subsidies. That seems to be the case because the proponents for the Jenner Wind Farm, who are from out of province and associated with the massive power corporation of Quebec, are promising renewable energy that promises investment yield for shareholders. How odd! Alberta's power prices are some of the lowest in North America. A 2012 Morrison Park survey of investors for the Market Surveillance Authority indicated there was no investor interest in wind, solar or baseline, that would be like coal, power plants, due to the low power prices and lack of profitability. But we see Solventrex, a German solar power company with an out-of-province Canadian subsidiary randomly offering Alberta farmers three times the market price for leasing farmland, doing so indiscriminately even if the land is top quality soil for food production. Where and how do these corporations expect to make a profit if power prices are so low? Unless you're planning to subsidize these literally powerless operations to the hilt with taxpayers' money. And where will that money come from? The carbon tax? By shutting down coal-fired power plants, the biggest emitters of carbon dioxide, you'll also lose the biggest source of carbon tax revenue. As months tick by with no new natural gas plants, the future looks bleak. These multi-billion dollar projects require years, decades of planning and construction. As coal plants retire early, fossil fuel rich Alberta may be facing a lack of generation capacity. Rolling blackouts, anyone? Power prices will at least double just by the move to natural gas. And remember, Premier, we will need 100% replacement capacity for coal with natural gas, not just 30. Wind and solar need 100% conventional backup. Of course, that power could come from Site C Dam in BC. It's doubtful that hydro could sufficiently back up your proposed volume of wind and solar power, though buying BC's hydro might twist their arm into agreeing to a pipeline or LNG port. In some circles, people would call that extortion and not confederation. Much of your climate plan is copied, it seems, in our opinion, from NEI Investments, an ethical investor, promoter of renewables that states it opportunistically sought out your government. Ethical investor that's putting 7,000 people out of work and destroying 30 communities. An activist ethical investor in major oil companies, some of whom got preferential status when you presented your climate plan. Then there's the fact that if fully implemented, your climate plan would reduce the carbon dioxide CO2 concentration in the atmosphere by 0.026 parts per million for a global temperature reduction of 0.00007 degrees Celsius by 2030, which is insignificant. 
undetectable. So there are the facts, madam, for debate, enough to make anyone angry. Are you listening? No? For 